breaking news i have a new technique that i wanted to put you guys on to for the longest so today is finally 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 the day of the grand reveal in this video i'm going to show you from start to finish to the bleaching washing plucking cap method wig install and even down to the baby hairs but before we start, I have to give a huge shout out to our sponsor for today's video, which is Asteria Hair. They sent me their HD 13 by 4 lace wig and 24 inches. And this is all the goodies that came in the packaging. And I'm not a fan of the curls off the package. So, you know, I had to do a lot of pre-customization to make this install as gorgeous as y'all seen before. If you're interested in this wig, everything will be listed down below in my description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a nice comment about what you learned in this video, and follow me on my other platforms to stay updated with moi. Now, let's get the show on the road. Let's begin bleaching our knots. I'm going in with my Quick and Blue with a 20 volume developer, and you can use your own personal favorites, but if it don't break, I don't need to be fixing, so this is what I've been using. I also bought a black dye. Um, just in case I over bleach my knots, which I didn't, thank God, thank you Jesus, but usually that mistakes can happen from time to time, so it's always good to have it in handy. As you see here, you want to make sure your solution is very, very thick because if it's very runny, it will run through your lace and bleach the rest of your hair and that's not what you want. I'm going in with my got to be free spray to tame away the flyaways down with my hands and this spray can also be used to create some type of protection barrier to the rest of your hairs to not get bleached remember the rule of thumb you're only bleaching your knots not your hair now i'm flipping over the wig inside out so that the lace is facing upwards to begin bleaching the knots all throughout the lace and it seems as if i'm applying the bleach roughly but trust me i'm not it's just the way i edited and sped through this part but me, honestly, I like to get down and dirty with my hands so that I have a little bit more control and that I could finish faster because I completely dread this part, like 100%. I hate it. Now we're finally washing out the bleach off the lace after 30 minutes. The lace was very brassy, so I'm taking my purple shampoo to cancel out those brassy tones and I also let it sit for another 30 minutes. Plucking is a very, very crucial part when it comes to achieving a flawless install. You want to literally pluck the lace away. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I love seeing a bulky frontal transform into a very realistic hairline. And that's the look you want to have. I don't know how to really explain the plucking part. But all I know is that you want to have a very good slanted tweezer. A white towel so that you can see the lace better and plug sporadically. And you want to avoid plugging in one singular spot because that's how you're going to get a bald spot. So you want to plug very sporadically as shown in the video so that it just looks very natural and it mimics a person's hairline. Okay, ladies, let's transform this to this. I like to gel my edges back with the yellow got to be gel and I also go in with the free spray for extra strength to tame down all the flyaways. Then I blow dry on the warm temperature to make sure that everything has been sealed and sleeked as best as possible. And don't forget to grease your scalp with your favorite hair oil of your choice to promote hair growth and to avoid itchiness under the wigs cause girl, I be dying under these wigs like for real. I found this sheer high knee stockings at my local beauty supply store and it wasn't as sheer as I wanted it to be, but it was way better than the traditional cap that we all used to use. So I was okay with that. Then I sewed the cap down, but this step is honestly optional. This used to be really the hardest thing for me to master, which is the ball cap method. But my friend, who is my hairstylist that we all may know if you're not new to my channel, she came up with this new cap technique that I want to introduce to you guys. And this step has helped me so, 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 so much. 
and it made life easier for me <laughs> um, because I am officially able to properly master the ball cap method. So as you see here, the trick is to cut a very, very, very small hole through the cap and pull your ears out from that small hole. Before, I used to cut a larger hole and then the cap wasn't snugging my ears, nor was it tight anymore, and I had to start this whole process all over again. But you want to make sure that you're paying attention to these next few steps because this is where the new technique starts. Spray your cap down with the free spray a little more than usual, meaning to spray it a little bit more further down on your forehead. So as you can see here, I'm spraying a lot. And you want to make sure you blow dry um, this cap on the warm temperature to get it to dry completely. Do not cut the cap until you have noticed the cap is completely dry. Do you guys hear me? Completely dried. The purpose of overspraying your cap is to provide more protection when you're pulling up your cap so it doesn't roll back. Because when I didn't do this step, my cap used to always roll back even when it was completely dried. Then you want to take your razor and place it down exactly on your hairline as you see here as I'm demonstrating. This creates another stop barrier to cut off the cap exactly where you want it to stop. Don't you see how easy and smooth this process is? Yeah, a complete gem. Like I said, this process used to be extremely, extremely hard for me. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but my cap used to just always roll back. Or I would even overcut my lace, I mean the cap, and my hair would seep through. It was just really annoying and after my friend had taught me this step, I was just like, girl, you are heaven sent. It's so easy for me to do it now, like so easy. And I just wanna be able to show you guys for anyone that has been struggling with this method because you guys are gonna love it. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation to apply that on my cap to get it as close to my skin color. And I'm also applying that foundation on the lace. I personally like to remove those cones that's built in on the wig with the razor to get a flatter install. But now that I walked you guys through the entire prepping stage, I can finally show you guys the install process. As you can see, I'm playing with the lace to see where exactly I want to lay it, if I need to cut anything, etc. This is the chance for you to do so before applying glue. Next, I'm going to take my boho lace glue and apply a very thin layer around the edges of the cap. Then, I'm going to blow dry that on the worm. The second layer, I'm going to apply a very thin layer similar to the first layer. However, I'm going to take it a little bit more back behind the cap to give it more of a wet. You want to make sure the glue is completely clear and sticky before proceeding to the next step. Rule of thumb, apply the lace over the glue and not directly or even before the glue. The reason is because you don't want to have excessive glue remaining when you're cutting the lace and it's hard to explain, but yeah, if you know, then you know. I like to go in with a free spray and just spray a very small amount of it before laying it down with the band. I've been laying my lace with a band three times throughout the entire process for years now, but currently it's a new trend going around and now it's officially called the double melt. So yeah, I think it's kind of crazy that everything is becoming like a trend when people like myself have been doing it for years, but yeah, I digress. A wax stick, a hot comb, and a baby flat iron will be your best friend up until the end of this video. So you want to make sure you have those things. You're going to press that baby down until your head catches on fire. Literally on fire. I am so serious. If your head is not catching on fire, you is not laying your lace right. Now this is what you call a male baby, a male. If your lace do not look like this, you need to rewind this tutorial like for real 
I used to go in with a razor to cut my lace in the past, but honestly, I'm going to throw that old method away. I find it so much easier to go in with those very small scissors to cut it very precisely as you see here. And make sure the scissors are brand new. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw all the old method that we used to do away. I was just so happy because I finally got in my lace right i was so happy and it's only gonna get better from here so now i'm taking my rat tail comb and i'm pretty much figuring out where exactly i want to lay my baby hairs and i can't really explain a whole lot of um tips with the baby hairs because i didn't really record the actual look of it because i was really really struggling the baby hairs is something that you can't really teach. It's more of like a personality thing. It's more of like what you like and what you don't like. And you just have to kind of be a visual learner. I'm not saying you have to be a visual learner, but I mean, it's just really hard to kind of teach someone how to do baby hairs. But all I can say is... You want to make sure that you're going in with your hot comb to pretty much straighten out the hair because obviously the hair is curly and you're going to want to cut your baby hairs and make sure you're not cutting too, too short. It's better to go longer than short because you can't add hair, but you can always take away. So that's also a rule of thumb. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have a baby hair flat iron. I always thought this was like unnecessary, but no guys, this thing is a must. Okay, a must. Like if you don't have it, go on Amazon, go to your local beauty supply store to pick this up because you really, really need it. Especially for people like me that don't really know how to lay their baby hairs. This is like a cheat code, if I'm being honest quite honest so yeah don't forget to get you one of these because it's a chicken salad i like to gel the baby hairs with the black got to be gel and i also go in to blow dry on the warm temperature to make sure that everything has been sealed to what i want if you're not okay with the way your baby hair is looking or even laying avoid blow drying it until you have reached your desired look we have finally reached to the end of the video. And if you guys love the way I explained everything and if you learned a lot and if your lace has looked even 10 times better after watching this video because I know you're going to be a pro at it because I am after this video, after this technique, you is that girl. You is that girl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.